Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to some more Hearthstone. It's been a very long time since I've been on this game, but of course, as I'm sure you guys are well aware, at least probably some of you guys are aware, there is a new expansion coming to Hearthstone here in the near future, as well as some pretty ch big changes to the core fundamentals of how Hearthstone is played. So first things first, they're going to be changing around the modes here. So wild mode is the mode we're in right now, but pretty soon it's going to be a standard and a wild mode. And what that means is standard is going to be kind of like removing old stuff from the game to make it so you're going to basically be playing with newer cards, essentially. So the first thing they're going to be doing is removing Nax Ramus, essentially, from the game. Now, if you decide to stay in wild rather than playing in standard you can use any cards you want but in standard only certain cards can be available and it's gonna be pretty interesting uh if you go down here to the shop for example new expansion you can already pre-purchase stuff here but if you go down here to adventures you see next ramus is uh, leaving the shop soon it's gonna be no longer available actually which is kind of interesting but they did make it so you can craft the next ramus cards and stuff like that so they're changing around a lot of things about the game and after taking kind of an extended break from it i decided hey let's come back and play some Hearthstone. i've been playing over the past couple of days or so uh, very limited success so far. Uh, I got up to rank 17. I was up to rank 16, but I've dropped down since then. Uh, mainly playing with my warrior here. They didn't make it so you can actually have more deck slots, even. You know, how cool is that, right? Finally, you can have 18 slots instead of just your traditional 9, which is uh, pretty awesome if you ask me. But what we're going to be doing today is checking out the new Tavern Brawl. It just came out today. I don't even know what it is. So let's see what this is here. Battle of Tolbarad. All right, so this is one uh, we had before, right? Magical creatures are escaping from Tolbarad. Play a minion and get a random spell of the same cost but for free so if you play a bunch of little minions you get a bunch of little weenie spells but if you play a bunch of big minions you get a bunch of big spells that's an interesting way to go about things i don't have any quests for any particular um for any particular hero so i don't know who i want to go with here so play a minion get a spell so do i want to hmm I get, I'm sure there's actual synergy, actual strategy to this, but my go-to is always uh, to go for Rogue. But now I'm thinking about it, Rogue actually has a bunch of spells, and this, I think the entire point of this brawl is to have minions. Yeah, so let's not do the Rogue. Let's forego the Rogue for now. Uh, what deck do I run that would have a lot of minions in it? Zoo is the first thing that pops up. Is like, like, like a Zoo Warlock. That seems to make sense to me. Um, Paladins. Um... They have a good amount of minions. Warriors do, too. But I guess the thing is, you want to get people out there early and often, right? I guess that's kind of the idea. You don't want to play, like, a mage or a rogue or maybe even a priest that have a lot of... Yeah, let's go warlock. Let's go warlock, and we're going to put a bunch of little weenies in there. Uh, blood imps. We'll put in some of those. Flame imps. Ah, yes. Yeah. So we're going to be going with zoo. The idea is we're going to kind of, like, overwhelm them with a bunch of little weenies. And the little weenies will eventually give us a bunch of uh, spells, which will be weenie spells, but spells nonetheless we can use. And so Dark Peddler, let's grab that. Um, I think Dark Bomb is good just in general, so maybe we should just take that along with us just in case. I don't want a Succubus. Uh, that sounds just awful. Um, let's see here. Tiny Knight of Evil, perhaps. Uh, Imp Gang Boss. Let's grab a couple of those, because why not? They're small. They're cheap. They're fun. I got a new Void Terror. Let's get rid of that, because I already have a gold one. Uh, Fist of Jiraxis. No. Pit Lord. Ah, that just seems painful, <laughs> using a Pit Lord. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of the other... Uh, let's go Argent uh, Squire, All right? I'm trying to think of, like, Zoo cards. I haven't played uh, or had to make a deck in a long time. I played a little bit of Zoo as of recently, but um, a lot of the cards I haven't uh, actually changed around. It's just the same Zoo deck that I've had forever. <laughs> uh, Blood Mage Thalnos, why not? Uh, if we're going to have a bunch of spells... Ooh, let's get a couple of spell damage in here. Uh, wow. Do you ever, like, type, like, one like one thing off of, like, what you're meaning to type? <laughs> and then you just end up spelling some gibberish. Um, let's get a couple Geomancers in there. Do I want a Mini Mage? Probably not, right? That just sounds silly. A Zerd Drake, let's grab a couple of those. Alright, sounds pretty good. Now, some other cards I think would just be big, good, and or fun. I mean, you could always go for a big game hunter, right? In just about every single deck. It just, it's one of those cards that just works out so ridiculously well the majority of the time. Um, I really don't know what to go with here. Uh, I've always hated the Tavern Brawls. Well, I don't hate them, but I, I've always disliked the Tavern Brawls where you have to actually put together your deck. It's like, I know there's going to be some, like, actual really good strategy to this, and it's not immediately apparent to me. And so as a result, I'm having trouble kind of figuring this out. Let's try and get uh, Gormok in here. If I'm going to be filling up the board with stuff, let's see if we can get Gormok in there. Um, just to try and, like, fill up some people, uh, fill up my board a little bit. Let's go and grab... Uh, where is that one card? Where is that one card? Where is... Implosion! Yay! I want a bunch of little guys. 
A bunch of little guys all throughout the board. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, that'll hopefully make Cormac uh, a little bit easier to use. Um, we can get summoning portals in there. Maybe. Yeah. Summoning portals. I don't know. Uh, something probably even be that great. Should I get like Jaraxxus and Malganus just for the sake of having Jaraxxus and Malganus? But then again, what spell costs nine? I don't think that there is any. Wait a minute. A 10 cost minion, if you can actually get it out there, is going to give people free Pyroblasts. So I think that's going to be a big deal. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Let's let's get you face Jaraxxus in here because he's Lord Jaraxxus, Eredar, Lord of the Burning Legion, and that'd be fun. I did not mean to hit the clockwork uh, gnome, although he may not be the worst card ever. In like a zoo style deck, right? Might not be terrible. Probably isn't gonna be very good, but uh, might not be terrible. Um, we only need like a couple more cards here, so now I'm just really trying to decide: should I get Noyotrons in there? I'm just throwing stuff in together at this point. I mean, I, there's no, there's really no big uh, synergies here. Of course, your Dire Wolves. Of course, you need that. And the right thing in particular, I want to take one more time with my kind of like a. Twisted Zoo deck. I don't even know what you would call this. It's kind of a pseudo zoo more, more than anything. There's not really too many zoo based things here. Siphon Soul. Eh. None of these really. Shadow Flame, maybe for a little bit of a. Yeah, screw it. We'll throw in like one Shadow Flame. There we go. There's my awful Brawl deck. And I'm sure it's going to bring me a little no success, but still. Uh, that's gonna be the fun of it. How you how I always do the tavern brawls is, is I make a deck initially and then I quickly realize that it's terrible and then I try to make adjustments from there, right? The whole point of it is I want to get a bunch of little weenies out there and the little weenies will give me lots of spells and then I can use those spells to do things. Now I can't really plan around what spells I'm gonna get. You kind of can. You can be like, okay, well I'm gonna have a bunch of two drops because a lot of two drop spells are really good and there's, you know, this many two drops and so my chances of getting a frost bolt or something like that would be this, or, you know, you could do it that way, but that's a good starting hand. We'll keep that. You can do it that way, but uh, ultimately, I don't think it's going to matter that much. All right. So, do we want the Flame Imp right away? Or do we want the Void Walker? I think we want the Flame Imp right away. Put the pressure right on him. Now, we're going to get a, now we're gonna get a one drop spell that costs zero. So, we get a free Soul Fire. Interesting. Interesting. How many one drop spells are there? I'm trying to think. I think the Mage has a couple of them. Rogue, perhaps. See? Annoying. Very annoying. But equally annoying. <laughs> Do I get more soul fire? Okay, we get an ice lance there. Which means, oh, okay. So I, I remembered some one drops uh, in the mage. And a naturalize. Destroy a minion and your opponent draws two cards. That's something I might want to save for later. But uh, we're just going to end off our turn here. Because there's no sense in hurting my flame imp. All right, we're going to flame cannon, which hit one of the better targets, to be honest. It's good. It kept my imp alive. Alright, we got Mech Warper. So this person just put together a mech style deck, interestingly enough. We got ourselves an Azur Drake here. Alright, fair enough. Now we kill or we pop that, right? Now, do I want to actually attack with that or do I want to No, because I can't freeze it. What well, what I can do, hmm. I think the best idea would be to, to put out the imp gang boss, right? You put out the imp gang boss, it gives you a three drop spell. Beneath the ground, shuffle three ambushes into your opponent's deck, and when drawn, you summon... Yeah, I'm just going to play that right away, because that's amazing. So basically, whenever he draws one of those cards, I'm just going to get a free 4-4 four, four on the board. Then, I think we freeze this guy. I think we kill that. Sound good? Alright, I hope that worked out well. Um, it's definitely been a bit of an adjustment for me getting back into Hearthstone. Um, just trying to remember how to play the game, make sure, make sure not to get too hasty, trying to... Uh, figure out what are the best decisions to make, you know, sometimes difficult, and that is going to summon me and little imp. He may have forgotten about the imp gang boss. Now, what kind of, that was a hunter's secret. And if there's one thing I know about hunters, it's probably explosive trap. So the idea is go face. Alright, it's not an explosive trap, it's not a freezing trap, it's not a bear trap. Is this a snipe? Surely it's not a snipe. I mean, it, it's random, so is it a snipe? It's not a snipe. Hunter secret. It's not bear trap. It's not explosive trap. It's not freezing trap. Wait, is there? there's one where I have to attack a minion for it to work, right? <laughs> well, apparently that's not it either. <laughs> um, there's there, there, there must be one that I don't know. There's got to be one that I'm not thinking of. I have a flash heal here, a free flash heal, which is pretty nice. We're going to use that to heal up our imp gang boss, because that's amazing. And 
I could put out the wolf, but instead I'm just going to hear a power here. We're going to get our implosion. We're going to end off a turn. Dart Trap. Whenever you're the opposing hero powers use deal five damage to a random enemy and hit my face. Interesting. I did not know that was a card. He's got Blade Flurry. One damage to everybody. Now, the, the, with the Grand Tournament, which was the last expansion, I didn't mess around with it too much, uh, to be honest. When the Grand Tournament came out, I got some cards and I played a bit, but ultimately I didn't do too much with it. So, um, I definitely struggled to like remember like how a lot of these things are being played. Oh, we drew our Gormok, and we've got Holy Wrath. Draw a card, deal damage equal to its cost. Um, we've got a lot of really... Really fun cards here, I think. Things are going well right here, but then again, you never know what's going to happen. I'm already at 19 health. You know, uh, she, Valera, has... Uh, Alright, she's going to use an assassinate. A five-cost assassinate, mind you. I mean, Garrison is a dark peddler. Gormok? Okay, so the idea is I want to I fill up the board a little bit for Gormok here. So we're going to put you out here, right? And that's going to give me another spell, which I should start using these spells. Reincarnate, destroy a minion, then return to life of full health. Um... I don't need to do that just yet, I don't think. We'll put you out there, although my hand is starting to get full. That's the thing. I'm getting all these cards. Like Release Seeker, if you have six minions, get Oh, I can actually, I can set that up. I can set that up. Um, <laughs> uh, gang up, uh, choose a minion, uh, three copies of it. Let's get three copies of the Dire Wolf in my deck. That sounds good, right? Probably not, but it seems like a good idea at the time. And... What do we got over here? Soul, Soul Fire. I don't want to draw a card. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in my hand. So, all right. So, let's go with what we got here. And we'll attack some face. And I'll be the end of the turn. Now. Oh, your, your, your taunts are very taunting. Let's just squelch you. Because I thought I already did that. You gotta love people that sarcastically emote in a card game. Then again, maybe I was taking it a little bit longer. And it's like, hurry up. And it's like, well, I'm sorry. My deck requires thinking. Well. You know, this is a mech deck, so there is some thinking to be done. Especially on Rogue. Rogue's definitely a, a class I've considered to require a lot more thought than some of the others. Lots of combos, lots of things to be done there, you know? Lots of stuff to happen. All right. Well, hmm. Is there a way that I can get, if I have at least four other minions? So if I put down, like, one little minion, I can put out Cormac and kill off, like, one of his things pretty easily. So let's do that. Let's put you out there. Cormorok, you're going to come out and hit that. Yeah! Now we get a sabotage, destroy a random enemy minion, and combo, uh, and destroy... Wow, so that's free? So, does that go through the Divine Shield? It does! Freaking amazing! Too bad I don't have any minions. Ah, uh, it's so frustrating I don't have any minions left to go, because I can get... If I had one more to put out, uh, well, whatever. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go face here. I'm just going to go uber face. There goes my reincarnate. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with losing my reincarnate. I can naturalize. That seems silly. Let's hear a power up here. Get ourselves a blood imp, which I wish I would have had before. <laughs> Definitely. But if I put out the blood imp, that'll be six. And for the first time in the history of Hearthstone, luck Reliquary? Uh, I see. That's a tough word. Uh, <laughs> will be playable. He'll be a one drop that will be a five five. All right. And he's going to elemental destruction. Should have played around it. Should have played around it. And it come at me with a dagger. Well, this card's no longer going to have any use. Unless he puts out a minion. Which he doesn't. Alright, so we got the old Thalnos. Sick. Uh, so that's going to give me a demon fire. Deal three damage to a minion. If it's a demon. Ooh, we can buff up my demon. Buff you up, buddy. <laughs> and we got the blood imp. Yes, Blood Imp, you have to. Now, where are you going to give me here? Blessing of Might, give a minion plus three attack. <laughs> this is amazing. This is going good here. Now, Holy Wrath. I'm Holy Wrath the face, seeing what I get here. That's going to be three damage to the face, and that's lethal. GG. <laughs> we. I'm so good at this game. Have I ever told you guys how great I am at Arsenal? I'm probably like one of the best players in North America. I just don't try very hard to get up to Legend. I feel bad for all the other players. And how about the world's biggest cock tease? The, uh, the 50 packs for pre-ordering that are just going to be sitting there for ages. I'm saving up my gold, essentially, so I don't end up blowing a bunch of money on this, uh, on this expansion. Okay, so we get ourselves an epic and a rare. All right. Now, if you're wondering about the card back, this is the card back you get for pre-ordering 50 packs of the uh, Whispers of the Old Gods expansion. Um, 
Angry Chicken, great. And our epic is going to be an ice block. I'm actually kind of back. That's actually sick because I don't have, I had one ice block, I think. Um, I crafted one ice block because apparently it's pretty crucial. And if you're going to play like a frost mage or freeze mage, I think it's called in Hearthstone. It's frost mage in WoW. Um, yeah, it's a pretty crucial card to that. Uh, and some people run two of them and I didn't have any. So I crafted the one because I had enough dust, but I didn't want to craft two because I didn't have enough dust. And so now I have two. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm saving my gold here. Just doing my quests every day. Uh, to try to uh, save as much gold as I can so when the expansion actually comes out, I buy a bunch of cards. And, uh, yeah, so let's go back to Tavern Brawl here to continue on playing for a bit. This is my OP deck that nobody can compete with. Now, I'm sure there's another way to go, but the idea of having, you know, a bunch of little tiny weenie minions coming out, therefore, like, filling your hand up with tons upon tons of spells, you know, seems like the way to go. I'm sure it's a better way, like I mentioned, but, uh, it worked, seems, it worked well for me the first game. Then again, that person was really playing just like a mech class. And I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, he was playing a mech class, but he wasn't really putting out a lot of minions. And the result of not having a lot of minions to put out made it so they couldn't uh, get a bunch of spells. And then my spells and minions kind of overwhelmed them, I think. Now, no. All right, so we coined Anoyotron, right? Right, we coined the Anoyotron. And then, turn two, we dropped the double blood imp. Now, this oh, coin's a spell, so that doesn't... Okay, never mind. I was, I was sitting there thinking, does, does, this, does the coin give me something? But it doesn't. Snake trap, whenever one of your minions to attack, summon snakes. <laughs> I'm totally putting that out. I'm gonna have a bunch of little snakes. And then hopefully I draw the Lick Release. Why can't I say Relic Worry? I, I, that's a hard word. I just... Something about it. I can't say it. Um, I think we double imp. You always double imp, boys. Always double imp. Now we get a mirror image. <laughs> Repentance. After your opponent plays a minion, reduce its health to one. We could do that. All right, we're going to play Secret Warlock. <laughs> uh, I don't even want the mirror image right now, I don't think. I think we'll save that uh, for the time being. All right. I was I, Best case scenario, both of them were, would, were to have uh, buffed up the Noyotron, but I guess not. That's fine. Well, that's about to be a 2-1. Yeah. Repentance. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna pop my divine shield with his divine shield. Oh, he's gonna cleave! No! Alright, I still got the one blood imp. He's gonna mark the wild. See, this guy's got it. You put out a bunch of little guys, you get a bunch of spells. Admittedly, his spells were a little bit better, because mine are just stupid secrets. But, uh, alright. Let's see here. I don't want to put a mirror image right now. Or do I? Well, I guess, um... I could put out the, uh, the imp gang boss, right? That'll be a three drop, and that'll give me a spell for three. And then, well, hmm. Is there a way I can pop that uh, Divine Shield? And then, no. Doesn't look like it. Not till next turn. All right, so we're going to put out you. We're going to see what we can get uh, in terms of a spell. Seal of Champion, give a minion plus three attack and Divine Shield. Ladies and gentlemen, how amazing. How amazing. So, we're going to play this. Get a couple of mirror images out there, right? Now... Oh, uh, no, no, nope, that, that, that'd kill it. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna need to, uh, plus three attack and divine shield. There we go. And then we end off our turn. I could have popped the, I could have popped the shield for both ends, I suppose. Would that have been better? To pop his divine shield with my divine shield there, and then he'd have a three, four with taunt, I'd have a four, three with taunt. Snake trap! <laughs> Yay, snake trap. Now, I find it, oh, he must have a spell. He's got a swipe. That'll... Wreck my almost my whole board, but not the entire board. So we got we got something there going for us. All right, Blood Mage Thalnos is actually great here, I think, because um, what it does is going to make give me spell damage plus one, allowing my Dark Bomb to kill that spider outright. And then we can work on the uh, other guy, Demon Fuse. Give it Demon plus three. Pl oh, that's amazing. Demon Fuse is amazing. All right, it's so no more of you. Demon Fuse you, who's now a big creamy 4-4, hit you, right? And you get that awful, awful card. And now what do we do? Um, uh, we'll kill off that. We'll kill off that, leaving me with two health, which means he's probably going to get hit at least one more time and then summon another imp. I'm trying to get value of my imps here, guys. I'm trying to make the imps come back out. And keep in mind, Blood Mage Thalnos does buff up the implosion. But right now, she has, or he has nothing I want to put out that 
would warrant an implosion. <laughs> That's a bit of an issue. Then again, ah, oh God, they're all a bunch of weenies. They're all they're all weenies. He has the right idea. He's put out a bunch of weenies, get a bunch of spells. This guy, this guy, uh, me and him are on the same wavelength here. Now nah, I want to save my implosion. That just it honestly seems silly to put it out now. So we're gonna hero power here. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves in a Zerg Drake, which obviously we can't use this turn. Um, well, do I start uh, doing some trading here, or I think I do. I think it makes the most sense for me to begin trading. Um, yeah, so let's put you here, and then by putting you there, oh, I get a feign death. Trigger all of my death rattles. Uh, death rattle, draw a card. <gasps> Yay! Which basically just gives me a card. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna trade you into you, and you into you, just to get rid of that uh, annoyance, I suppose. Put out you, and then instead of trading here, we're actually gonna go face with that. Oh, forked lightning! Yay, forked lightning! Yeah! There goes two of those things. So, but with what he has on board, he can't get rid of everything I have, but, you know, chances are he's got a spell or something to do, like, one or two damage. I think he's, I think he's gonna be able to clear the board at some point here. That's certainly one way to go. Every fin is awesome. Give all your minions plus two, plus two. Ah! Not gonna lie, that hurts. That hurts. Where's my brawl? I need to put out the Azur Drake and get a brawl out of it, but I can't because I'm overloaded. Ah! All right, so we can implosion. We have a buffed up implosion here, which isn't gonna help much. Uh, if it hits five, then we're Gucci. We're we're golden. If it doesn't hit five, it's gonna hit. There's a 33% chance this is gonna work. And here comes three. Yep. I've you. I've been playing a little bit of Zoo today. A little bit, not a lot. And. Uh, yeah, I've called in three implosions, and all three of them have been the lowest possible one. Uh, normal implosion can do between two and four damage. I always get two. And that one right there was going to do between three and five. I got three. And he's got flame strikes. Oh, no. Esports. I mean, I'm, this guy is esportsing the crap out of me. He's got perfect lethal, too. Perfect lethal. I just got esports. Super esports. It seems like the the spells he was getting were uh, some very nice board clearing uh, removal uh, removal uh, spells. I didn't get any of those, unfortunately. Which is at the end of the day what uh, the Battle of Tolbarod's about. It's a bunch of randomness, essentially, a bunch of random spells and uh, dealing with it. Never lucky. Never lucky. Let's see what we get here. We get a mage. Now, Mage is an interesting choice because I don't picture Mage as having a lot of uh, minions. Let's get... Now, nah, we'll drop the Gang Boss. We'll drop the Gang Boss for now. Yeah, I like this. I like this. We got Dark Peddler. The old Peddler file. Um, got your Flame Imp. All right, so we're going to coin Dark Bomb before that gets out of hand. <laughs> we're definitely going to coin Dark Bomb. This man about to Shield Slam himself. Yeah, we're definitely coin dark bombing. <laughs> I am not about to, I'm not about to play that game, no sir. No sir. Bunch of free spells, and every single one of them buffs up the mana worm. No sir. Not happening. Not on my watch. Mm -mm. I may not be very good at Hearthstone, but I know better than let that happen. Alright, you got nothing for us there, huh? Interesting. Now let's get out the peddler. All right, we got a Leopard Gnome. Removes one durability of your opponent's weapon, so that's useless. So yeah, Leopard Gnome's obviously the choice to go. And then we can gang up here and get a bunch of Dark Peddlers. Is there anyone else I would want, oh, preferably, over him? No, nah, we'll hold on to it for right now. Because Dark Peddlers, it's a good card. I don't think I want four other ones of them in my deck, though. Um, I'm going to see if Jaina here puts out something good and of low cost. Like a Flame Waker. I think I would like to have three Flame Wakers in my deck. That sounds nice. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about it, Mage might be very good because of that one specific card. Flame Waker would be ridiculously good in this week's Brawl. Now that I put two and two together and actually think about it. Let's, uh, let's gang up on that. Let's get a bunch of them to put in my deck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we're going to Imp Gang Boss. It's going to be a three drop and it's going to be an Ice Block. <laughs> That'll be something. That would be something that might work. <laughs> well, when she thinks she has lethal, she won't. So, 
Ah, oh, she's got the hard counter. She had the perfect counter for the Imp Gang boss. We got Burgle coming out. Add two random class cards to your hand from your opponent's class. You're about to get two Warlock cards. All these spells are going to hurt, man. They're going to hurt pretty bad. We got ourselves Leopard Gnome. All right. Now, you guys ready for Never Lucky V2? Because I would like to... I would really like to implosion here. And, and kill off his... This Flame Waker, but that would require me to get a 33% chance. So many it's either going to be 2, 3, or 4. I need to be 4. Am I a lucky man? Do I feel like gambling here? No. No. We're going to Geomancer. We're, we're going to... We're gonna, yeah, see, we're going to try a, a safer route, I suppose. We're going to drop a bunch of Leper Gnomes. Oh, oh Deadly Poison, all for me? <laughs> Sacred Trial of Secret. After your opponent has at least three minions, then plays another, destroy it. Alright, so put that out. Then we're going to destroy that. Oh, balls! Ah, I'm so sorry. Misplay. Horrible misplay. Dark Bomb was buffed by the Geomancer. The whole point of Geomancer is even in this deck? Yeah, it was buffed, and I didn't kill off the Flame Waker with it when I should have. Alright, whenever this minion takes damage, deal that much damage to your hero. Alright, well that's... Wrathguard's an interesting card. He's going to have Betrayal, which is going to kill off everyone besides the one. And then, assumably, we're going to get, uh... Oh, look at me, though! Oh, I almost got incredibly lucky right there. Life would have been great if I could have kept... If I could have kept them all alive there. Yeah, so that was a horrible misplay on my part, but uh, this is hard to go up against. Uh, we got ourselves another Leopard Gnome. That is uh, certainly something. Well, time to see if we can get lucky, boys. And we get a two. I'm literally four for four today uh, with the incredibly unlucky pulls. All right. Well, we'll put out you. See if we get something good here. Uh, Savage Reed. Deal damage equal to your hero's attack to a minion. Oh, great. That's that's helpful. <laughs> These are not helpful to me whatsoever. Not whatsoever. Yes, yeah, so mage is actually a good idea. So while well, I was thinking of mage, I was thinking of mage cards specifically, right? And while the mage itself may not have a ton of minions when you think about it, they act. Oh, yeah, just get that. That's a great two drop. Um, I'm thinking about conceding this game. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere. Nah, it's definitely not going anywhere. Ah, he's probably got lethal this turn anyway. I'll saw him have it. No, I've got ice block. Look at him. He's just blowing his whole load right here. No one expects the warlock ice block. <laughs> I can't you face your axis, Erdor, Lord of the Burning Legion, yet. Convert, put a copy of Random Enemy Minion into your hand. Okay. I'm just, I only know what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm trying to accomplish something, I'm just not sure what it is yet. <laughs> I'm just putting out things and making things happen. Uh, wait, savagery deal damage equal to my attack to uh, that. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even doing this. I'm just delaying the inevitable. All right. Unless I randomly get a healing spell. Yeah, change minions attack to be equal to its health. Uh, sure. And now I concede. Is that BM? Did I BM him? I don't know. I don't understand your guys' hip junk lingo. So yeah, mage actually, very good idea. Very good idea. That's one of the that's one of the ways I figure out uh you know how exactly what would be a good setup for a brawl is watching somebody destroy me with a combination. I go, oh, why didn't I think of that? So let's try that out there. The flame wakers are obviously going to be key. There's my new ice block, very happy about that. Flame Waker is going to be key, right? When you look at it, like, the reason why I didn't think Mage initially is Mage has a, doesn't have a bunch of weenies. You need a bunch of weenies for this one. But you can have a bunch of neutral weenies, right? You can have a bunch of neutral weenies. So get a couple Fallen Heroes there. Then go into neutral. Then you just get some good cards, like Argent Squire, um, not Goldshire Footman. He is ready for action, though. Leopard Gnomes. You don't want the value bore. That just seems silly. 
Hmm. What else did we put in here? I guess almost like the... Almost like basically all the things I put into my last deck. <laughs> Although, uh... My last deck didn't, didn't fare exactly too well. But it's very definitely like aggro mage in a way. Get a couple knife jugglers in there, right? Yeah, get those guys in there. It just makes the most sense. Lorewalker Cho would be hilarious in this week's Brawl, I think. <laughs> it would actually just be hilarious. All the all the spells just constantly going back and forth. It just seems silly. Um, novice Engineer, grab a couple of those. I'm just really just putting in a bunch of little tiny guys here. Uh, whenever... Oh! Uh, Trogs. Trogs is actually really, um, really good in the, uh, last iteration. Or, well, I guess, oh, I didn't mean to put that in there. The last time I played this Brawl, the Trogs were ridiculously good. If you don't know the Trogs, the way my opponent casts a spell, gain plus one attack. Obviously, very good for this week's particular Tavern Brawl. Um, is there anything else, really, that I can, uh, like, that I would really want in here? Like, specifically? Um, it's basically people interact with spells, you would think, but uh, whenever you play a card, game plus... Oh, yeah, Questing Adventure. Uh, let's make... Oh, I only have one. I only have two. Uh, can I craft it? Yeah, I'm going to craft it. Just because I never even use this card, but uh, I like I like having it there for the sake of completion, right? I want to have the complete uh, classic set. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, do I throw in the Take Master Over Spark for the sake of throwing in Take Master Over Spark? I think I do, because that's just going to be fun. I think it's going to be our last game anyway. Unless I get, like, completely destroyed by, for some reason. But, uh, we'll see. Uh, let's throw an Ice Block in there, just in case. Just in case, just to be that guy. Let's see. Oh, do I, do I go with the Pyroblast? Now, let's not go with the Pyroblast. Let's just go, uh, where is I? There it is. So let's just throw in one Ice Block. There you go. That's where we're going to rock. My highest thing is a three. Um, I do have a bit of card draw in this deck. Um, so that could help out as well, but the idea is throw out a bunch of little guys, get a bunch of free spells, and use those free spells to dominate my opponent in one way or another. Various ways include, uh, Flame Wakers, or, you know, just using them to kill off their minions, and attack face, or attack face with the spells. It all just really depends on what you want to do. So we'll see. Got a rogue. Direwolf Alpha, Stones Flare Trog. I think the Trog right away sounds pretty good, right? Uh, we'll get rid of the Adventurer for now. Although, maybe I wanted to keep it. I don't know. Yeah, Leopard Dome. There we go. We, now we have a turn one. Because we're going first, and we don't have... We obviously don't have coins, so... Yeah, so we'll go first. What's interesting is, if they're getting... I just realized, because uh, he's got the Black Temple card back, and that got me thinking. Um, if they're getting the real Naxx Ramus set, then, like, the heroic Naxx Ramus, like, for being all the heroic stuff, will... Uh, be pretty rare because people can't buy that set anymore therefore can't try to complete the challenge to get you know that particular card back or have the card back for getting the for getting the expansion in the first place so that's interesting very very interesting that they're getting rid of an entire set and people won't be able to take on those bosses or anything like you can still get the cards you can still craft the cards right now they're not craftable but they will be craftable in the future um so that's nice but it, it does still seem a bit odd right seems a little bit odd and we've got ourselves a flare, which, believe it or not, is going to be it's probably going to be helpful because both players are probably going to get a lot of secrets eventually. All right, you're getting Noyotron. Very annoying. Where's your spell? Play your spell. Don't you want to play a spell of some kind? Oh, I'm afraid to play a spell. You don't want to activate the Trog. I see you. I see you. No one activate the Trog. It's understandable. Nobody wants to activate the Trog. Now, do I questing adventurer here, whirlwind to pop that, then kill it? That seems like a lot, but we're going to... Wait, let's see. That would drop, that'd make him a... Uh, would it, would it, it'd probably make him a 3-2 at the end of it, right? Or would, Yeah, I think that's how that works. We're going to find out. Give me a quest. And sense demons. All right, yeah, let's buff him up beforehand. Yeah, worthless imps. Yay. All right. Uh, Now we hit him with the old whirlwind, right? Now, that is going to make it so we can kill my Trog. But I guess that's okay. Here's the Worthless Imp. It's always kind of a cool card to see because you rarely actually see the Worthless Imp. You have to use Sense Demons in a deck that has no demons in it. It's uh, pretty odd. Okay, why would you not... I think we might have a newer play here. If he were to... He should have attacked with his Dagger and then attacked with that. That makes the most sense. Okay, well, um... Let us... Anoyotron. I think this Questing Adventure is about to get out of hand. <laughs> we got a Battle Rage. And let's put you in between here. 
Come on, I need some good spells here. Something good. Misdirection, whenever you're, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <Quest accepted. laughs> the combos, boys. The combos. Questing adventurer. New meta. Ah, uh, gonna backstab down my wolfie. All right, fair enough. Now you gotta get through the Annoyotron. Very annoying, isn't it? I have a lot of cards I can play next turn. I, I, I'm going to be able to lethal him with my questing adventure this turn. Guaranteed. It's going to happen. I'm going to put down a bunch of... Yeah, I can put down a bunch of one drops and then play all the spells I get from those one drops. He's going to become the world's scariest freaking minion ever. <laughs> that was kind of fun. I think I might play a little bit more with that. Um, I'm going to end off the video here. I might play a little bit more with this tonight. I got some more stuff that I need to do today. But uh, that was the deck I put together. The highest uh, card in it was a three. And uh, it worked well for that one game. Um... Yeah, Questing Adventurer, pretty scary in uh, this brawl. If you can set up properly, obviously Flame Waker can be very scary. Uh, Knife Juggler seems good. Blood Mage Thalanos, I think it's just good in general. Um, in reality, the big thing that made that, I mean, the Sim Splitter Trogs as well, like that, those were the big things, I suppose, that made, uh, made that really work out for me. But yeah, just so you guys are aware, I'm sure a lot of you guys know it's kind of old news at this point, but uh, in the new setting that they're going to be having eventually i don't know when the update is going to be happening you can switch between wild and standard um they're gonna make it so only the newest two years of sets can be used so when that happens the new standard playlist is actually going to be only having um cards from classic the grand tournament um i guess it'd be easier to say what there won't be you won't be able to use goblins versus gnomes or nax ramus cards um, you can, of course, play, but you can also just play wild, which is the same as it is right now. Um, you can still, you know, your, your wins still count. You uh, have two separate ranks for each one of those things. You can get legend in both of them if you choose. So it's just a new way to play, I suppose, which is pretty cool. As well as if you guys haven't played in a while, this is kind of a neat new feature. Now you have all these extra decks. Uh, let's say you want to play a hunter, you know, for example. You go choose. They will actually suggest, uh, like, decks to you. Thrill of the Hunt, Death Trap, and Classic Hunter. Now, I only know what these are. And then they show you, like, what this is supposed to be. Uh, this looks almost like a face hunter, but really not much. Um, go here to, like, Paladin, for example. Uh, Tides of the Murlocs, Dragons of Justice for the Classic Paladin. And then they're like, alright, so this is gonna be, uh, you know, keep your opponent's board clear and finish your job with your high-cost dragons. They basically put decks together for you. Um, that other people may play, but, um, you know, they're not exactly the same as what some other, like, uh, what you, like, will see in ranked. Like, so we go here to Rogue. Like, you have Empowered Spells, which is what I like to do. One, that's all about combos. Um, empowered Spells is about, like, using, like, a Malagos and stuff like that and spell damage stuff to make it so, like, your Eviscerates and Blade Flurries and all that stuff do a bunch of extra damage and stuff. It just, it's a new little feature to help newer players out, which is pretty cool. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen... I hope you guys all enjoyed this Hearthstone video. Uh, it's not going to be a series or anything. I'm not going to be doing these every single week or anything like that. I just wanted to play a little bit of Hearthstone today. I figured I'd record it, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.